Blog Talk Radio. Hello and welcome to the Myrtle Beach Report. This is Dr. John, and we've had another beautiful, beautiful day in Myrtle Beach. Tonight, because we're doing this in the evening, I've got a very good friend to interview for you tonight. Uh, his name is Brad Miller. I met Brad about four years ago at XCon, which was a Comic-Con in Myrtle Beach. And uh, we, me, Brad, his wife, Jen, and his kids have been friends since then. So uh, Brad has a business. It's right now located in Merle's Inlet, and it's called DJ's Decals, DJ being the name of his son. So anyway, I want to introduce everyone to Brad Miller. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on tonight. Oh, glad glad to have you. And, yeah, when I met you, you had a booth, and you had T-shirts and decals and all kinds of cool stuff. And that's a business yes, that you uh, you take to various events, Comic-Cons and the like, and now you have a storefront in, uh, in uh, Merle's Inlet, in the mall, Inlet Square Mall. So tell us a little bit about your business, what you have. It's really cool. I, I'm one of your customers. Yeah, yep. Uh we actually we started out um well actually a long time ago we actually started out with DJ's toys and it was uh toys and comics and so forth. And then uh we had a little issue with my daughter. Um she has a she has special needs and she had a small issue that, that came up and we could tell something was going on. So we got rid of all the toys and the comics and um we decided to, to go with a, a sticker machine, make some a decal machine. So we just you know, bought that. I was just gonna make some stickers for some friends and uh, my wife talked me into let's go do a show and I thought she was crazy. And um, we went to the first show, and it was a huge success. And we were one of the first people in the area that were actually selling decals at, at Comic-Cons. So um, it really exploded for us, and we found a wonderful artist out of New Jersey that um, does all of our silhouette images. And uh, we started doing superhero silhouette T-shirts and basically taking off. Uh, we now actually have a location, like you said, in the Inlet Square Mall here in Marlton, uh, where we got such a large location that we actually brought back the toys and the comics and everything. So uh, we have everything that we make from glassware, um, baby bibs, um, T-shirts, koozies, street signs, uh, parking signs, um, and obviously the decals and the T-shirts still. Um, And then we also have some comics and toys and statues, and we'll be bringing other collectible stuff in there as well, uh, probably sports cards and and role-playing games, and possibly even video games. Not sure if I'm actually going to want to stretch out too far, but uh, right now it's just kind of like a little one-stop shop for all your collectible needs. And you know, you can come in and, and check it out and hang out. And we, we, you know, we love meeting new people, so it's um, we try to we try to run it kind of like the old school um, stores you had when you were younger that you went in and you just, you know talk to people that work there and just you know laughed and joked and. Whether you bought something or not, you still had a good time, and you look forward to going back, you know, again. And that, that's basically how we try to run DJ's decals and you know, DJ's decal toys and more. So, yeah, it, it's a great place. I'll tell you, I came in there the first time, and I, you have signs, and I saw yep. a sign. It looked like a um, like one of these uh, special signs that they put on a post, letting you know that something's going wrong or whatever back there with the traffic, and it said. The undead are people, too. And I yeah. thought that was the funniest thing I had ever seen. I couldn't stop laughing. And Jen said, you like it, don't you? Jen being your wife. I, Jen's great. She's a wonderful lady. So she, she's watching me laugh. I said, I just got to have this. And so I, I pulled out a, 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 a 20 and handed it to her. I said, keep the change. This is the most fun I've had in a long, long time. You've got things that are funny, things that sports fans like now – You've got sports logo items like shirts and everything, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, my wife, she's a, you know, not many people like this. I mean, just, there's a lot of haters that she gets, but she's a big Patriots fan. Um, and especially with the Patriots just winning the Super Bowl again, she's she's on cloud nine. So uh, happy wife, happy life. So I'm okay with it, I guess. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we actually have different T-shirts. Um, you know, we made one up that says um, Pat's Nation, and then it's on the back it says One Nation Under Tom. Um, you know, we actually have some silhouette shirts. We did a, just did a brand-new uh, Julian Edelman silhouette-type shirt. that came out really nice, and we have a Rob Gronkowski one. Um, we actually have, you know, a bunch of other ones. We've actually made some for some friends where it was, um, you know, John Riggins from the Washington Redskins and, 
we've done Sidney Crosby for another friend, you know, so we do all the different sports. Uh, we've got glassware. We actually have football glasses. They're actually glass, actual glass, and then in the shape of footballs with laces and everything, and we put the logos on the side. And uh, So we even do stuff, for, you know, for the sports fans as well, and, uh, you know, we can do street signs and, you know, that, you know, if you want something, you know, if you're a Panthers fan, you know, we can do, you know, Panthers place, you know, and, uh, you know, put it on a, you know, a, a blue, a blue sign with white vinyl or even a blue sign with turquoise vinyl to kind of, you know, you know, play on the colors of the Panthers and stuff. So we have a little bit of everything. Yeah. We, and, you know, we try to do some funny stuff, you know, like you said about the, the zombie sign and, you know, my, my wife's got a couple of bibs that are kind of cute and funny and, and, uh, uh, one has the Flash logo, and it says, I poop faster than the Flash. So we try to have some humor, you know, <laughs> with it too. And, and just, That's awesome. Yeah, so we we have some fun with it. Like I said, it's, um, you know, we're, you know, we're just, we're, we're a normal family, but we like collectibles. We like, you know, we like the movies. We like the, you know, we like sports. Uh, we like video games, you know. So we, we're your normal family, but, you know, we also know that, um, you know, there's a little bit for, every, you know, a little bit for every, everybody out there. So that's what we try to do. Well, I wouldn't call you a normal family. I would call you an awesome family. You had me over for. Well, thank um, you. Yeah, you're welcome. You had me over for the Super Bowl. We had a great time. Uh, Papa Stro, the maestro of wrestling, he was a guest. He's a mutual friend of ours. Uh, because I think Brad, I think you and I both love wrestling, don't we? Yes, yes. Um, a, a little unknown fact that a lot of people don't know about me. I used to wrestle professionally myself years ago for Killer Kowalski in Massachusetts. So, um, you know, meaning. Meeting Papa Stro, uh, I remember watching him back when he was the maestro and uh, always liked the gimmick and how he really portrayed it. Would never thought that years later that you know he'd be over my house breaking bread with me. So it's um, it, it's pretty fun that way. And you know this, you know doing all these comic cons and doing all these you know different shows that we do have actually allowed us to meet some wonderful people and um, whether they're you know professional athletes or you know professional businessmen like yourself or you know just other families that just, you know, love to have fun and we love putting smiles on people's faces. Well, I think you do. And uh, you've got a lot of friends in, in the business. I know people speak very highly of you and I want to invite everyone to go visit with Jen. She's kind of the primary person in charge down there, right? Your wife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I always joke and I always say I'm the king of my castle and my wife's not home. So, so she is definitely the, um, <laughs> She's definitely the leader of the whole thing, and she's there most days. Um, I think r- right now we're actually open Tuesday through Saturday uh, from 11 to 4. Uh, sometimes it might be a little bit earlier. Sometimes it might be a, be a little later. Um, depends on what we're working on. Um, and then once the season kicks in, we'll probably go to six, maybe even seven days a week and, um, you know, extend the hours as well. We've we'll, we'll got some got some pretty fun ideas down the road um, from a mock-type type auction where you have uh, fake auction bucks and you bring in items that, you know, that you don't want anymore. You know, it could be old comic books, could be video games or, you know, um, you know, movies, anything like that. And you put them in this, in this little auction and um, other people there, they can actually bid on it with their auction bucks. You know, you get a certain amount of money when you first come in to, um, to basically use to purchase other people's items. And uh, when your items actually sell, that adds to your little kitty, so, so to speak. So, we're going to be working on something like that. We'll probably do that on a Saturday or maybe on a Friday night um, coming up here pretty soon to try to, you know, really garner some more interest, not only in in our store at the Inlet Square Mall, but the Inlet Square Mall itself. I mean, we'd like to see that open back up again and, and have fun for a lot of people, you know, coming into the area. Well, it's a good place. I've been going there for, you know, ever since I can remember. You've got a beautiful store. And I'll tell you what I just might do. I might bring you some Bigfoot Explorer coloring and storybooks and some lizard man festival coloring and storybooks maybe some of your customers might want a couple of those if they if they see them i wrote those so i'll, that sounds I'll, fantastic I'll, talk, to me. I'll talk to the boss down there jen and see if she's yeah. okay with it how about that 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 sounds good that sounds good that's probably the safe bet there <laughs> absolutely now here's the big surprise for everybody because you do something, you and I have something very, very special in common. You run Comic Cons. I run Comic Cons yes, and festivals. We all lo- we love them so much. We run them, don't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure if that that makes us 
uh, crazy or what? <laughs> I mean, there's definitely a lot of work behind it. Makes it very these. special, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Unfortunately, it's, it's more like, you know, uh, you know, coloring with crayons and maybe licking windows special, but it still it makes it special. Um, well, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, tell, I, tell us about, because you run the Grand Strand Comic Con, and tell us how all that unfolded and how did you end up doing it. It's a, it's a marvelous thing that you do for the community. It really is. And tell us when the last one was, when the next one's going to be, if you want. You've got the floor, Brad. Yes, sir. Uh, the last one we ran was actually November 3rd and 4th of last year. We actually ran the Grand Strand Comic Con there at the Inlet Square Mall. We held it in the old J.C. Penney's. It was about 50,000 square feet. Um, we had 90-plus vendors. We had um, guests from the Guardians of the Galaxy, from Walking Dead, uh, we had Papa Stroh there. We also had Tommy Wildfire Rich there. Um, you know, we actually had Carrie Means, and we had a Disney a Disney animator, um, you know, Philo Barnhart, and he was wonderful. Um, he drew a wonderful um, print for us of um, Little Mermaid actually holding up our Grand Strand Comic-Con banner. A very good friend of mine, Brian Saunders, he actually designed our, basically, I guess our, our mascot, like a great white shark that actually has a, a license plate in his mouth that, you know, says Grand Strand on it. And, and um, so that was really great. We actually had the Bumblebee there from Transformers. We also had Baby from Supernatural. Um, we had some amazing, you know, amazing artists that came in. Lance Footer um, was, was there with us and and uh, John Hairston and um, just a lot of people that, you know, that both me and you know, John, that we've actually, you know, we've, you know, we've come across over the years and, you know, bonded friendships and you know we had to have them there so our next one we're going to be having um it's going to be a memorial day weekend it's going to be a one-day show on saturday it's actually going to be um inside the mall it won't be in jc Penney's. it'll actually be in the mall hallways so it's a free admission show so anyone that actually wants to come come on in uh we're going to have we're hoping to have about 100 vendors or at least 100 spaces i mean some vendors may actually take multiple spaces because they have you know uh, such large displays but uh, we we're already actually taking, you know, vendor applications. They're actually contacting us. They want to come in. And um, unfortunately, we won't be holding – well, that will be called the Grand Strand Minicon. And uh, we won't be holding the Grand Strand Comic Con at the Inlet Square Mall. They are now talking about possibly renting out the, that J.C. Penney's on a monthly basis and not for events. So um, sh- very shortly here, we're probably going to reach out to the convention center, and we're just going to try to go for broke this year. And uh, – I'd like to actually uh, welcome everyone to you know to try to you know, follow us and on Facebook, uh, DJ Decals, as well as uh, Grand Strand Comic Con. We'll always be putting up more information and uh, more dates and guests that will be coming and you know and like I said, we're, we're hoping to actually hold it in November again. But uh, this time here, we're going to try to push for the, the convention center uh, to really have a large space to to really hold it and hold it properly. Well, that that sounds great, Brad. And I tell you what, I will speak with the boss, Jen, and I will mm-hmm. uh, see about getting some photos from the from the previous uh, Grand Strand Comic Con. Some links that will be helpful to you, and uh, a little write up for you on our site, MyrtleBeachReport.com, along with, of course, this interview. And uh, and I really appreciate you coming on. It's uh, it's great having you. It's always good to, to talk with you folks because we're friends. But, you know, to have you on here, and we want to be sure that when people come to Myrtle Beach Report, they'll know about two things that are very important. Number one, they'll know about DJ's Decals, the coolest store down south of Myrtle Beach in Myrtle's Inlet at the Inlet Square Mall. And they'll also know about the Grand Strand Comic Con. We want everyone to know that. So we'll be firing this up on uh, Facebook. Everybody can check it out and come to our page and search, or they can come to our website, Grand Strand uh, Report. I'm sorry, no, Myrtle Beach Report. Sorry about that. <laughs> we we're talking about Grand Strand so much, but Myrtle Beach Report. So, Brad, I wanted to say thank you very much for coming on here. Can we have you back sometime soon? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was an honor. It was a pleasure. Like I said, I, I'd love to come on. Um, maybe we can come on when we actually have some guests actually rolling in and um, – you know, I can actually let you know about some of the upcoming guests that we have, and you know, in, in the future. Well, um, even at yeah. even at the shop, we'll probably be bringing in some guests to maybe do some, you know, special signings and so forth. So, yeah, I'd love to come back on. I really appreciate this opportunity. It's been wonderful, and like you said, it's, it's always great talking to you. I mean, um, you know, whether it's for something like this or just, you know, on the phone, you know, on a personal basis as well. I mean, I consider you a good friend. 
Absolutely, Brad. Thank you so much. Please tell Jen, DJ, and Paige I said hello. You guys are the best. And again, this is the Myrtle Beach Report. We've got Brad Miller with DJ's Decals and the Grand Strand Comic Con. So, Brad, we'll talk to you again soon, okay? Thank you so much, sir. Have a wonderful night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.